Hey everybody, how's it going? Revolutionary Cowboy here. And it's been about maybe a year and a half, two years almost, since I've done maybe a Pokemon trade card video on this channel. The last time I did one was actually um, some X and Y Evolution packs. And well, obviously it's not a, a regular thing. I mean, other than that, I've also opened some Japanese Pokemon card packs as well. I'm slowly kind of getting back into Pokemon card collecting because I used to do it heavily from like when the cards came out back in like 1998, 1999, wherever it was they first dropped here in the US. Up until about the black and white sets of 2010, 2011. And then I just kind of took a break and then the Evolution set came out back in like 2016, 2017. Because I, I got a little interested again. I've mostly been playing Pokemon Go as of late. But I was like, you know what, this set, I saw it in Family Dollar, and I've seen it at Walmart. It's been kind of interesting. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy these for the heck of it. Because I'm kind of getting that that collector ish for Pokemon cards again, and maybe slowly I'll try buy some of the sets I missed out. Now, of course, Sun and Moon is already done with. We already got the Sword and Shield coming out, which I think the Sword and Shield base set's already out as I'm doing this video. But I guess good time, better than any to... At least catch up on Sun Moon. Anyways, I'm gonna stop jabbering on because I know some people don't like that. Well, I mean, I gotta do an intro. I mean, I can I can get straight openings, but you know what? I like doing intros. But here are the packs. Of course, you know the GX cards are what make them special. The team ups. You know, you could have Pikachu and Reshiram on one card. For their GX. Snorlax and Eevee's another one. Like there's five different pack cards. Uh, Gengar and Mimikyu is another. And then uh, Selby and Venusaur. The last one is Machamp and Marshall, which I almost forgot Marshall's name. I had to look it up before I did the video. And hey, one dollar piece. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna buy about 15 of these. I almost bought 20, but I'm like, you know, a standard pack is four dollars at retail, and you get usually 10 cards. So these are three cards per pack. So that's basically like taking one pack and splitting it up. But hey, you know, three cards per pack, you know, at four bucks each, four dollars all together, then you would basically you get two extra cards in a way. That's better than a standard root pack. Of course, not guaranteed to wear every package or even a reverse holo. Oh, I think I see something cool. Uh oh, uh oh, I take my spoiled it for myself, but well, I saw it's an electric type, I think, and whoever else is on the card. But, anyways, uh, I'm gonna pull this out. They always throw these in, they don't throw in code cards like they do with the standard uh, booster packs. But, um, there's a fire energy that probably means this card's about to be fire. A Paris. Okay, so it's not a team up GX card. It's not gonna be two. It's just gonna be one for one. But hey, this is a cool one. First card, you know, the first pull in this in this video is a Ampharos GX. Pretty cool card. I like it. 240 HP. Man, I mean, I've been out of the pulling card collecting so long. I mean, I remember when it used to go all the way to 120. Then it started going to 200 with the DEXs and like Ruby and Sapphire and all the later sets. But start off with a of a holographic GX. First pack, I mean, that's awesome. Alright, so this one... Okay, so the cards are backwards, so... Doesn't really matter. Okay, I don't see anything too special. We've got a Dratini. We've got a Zor Zora. And then a Farfetch'd. And yeah, not a single one of them was rare. And I'm going to move off the uh, Ampharo so I don't forget about my pulls. But, uh, you know, we'll put the pulls in the background, actually, so I keep track of them. And, of course, reverse hollows aren't guaranteed here, because, once again, this is, like, basically, as I mentioned... Taking one pack and splitting it up as a four, plus you're getting like basically two bonuses if you were to get like a standard booster pack. In fact, I remember when it used to be 11, 12 cards back in the day, and then they went to nine and went back to ten, so yeah, you know. Alright, so we got this, so let's see what we got here. Psyduck. Always been a fan of Psyduck. Psyduck! Fairy Charm, and then a Tentacruel, which is an un uncommon. Sorry if I'm, yeah, not really focusing on the cards too well. I'm trying to do this with my cell phone. I used to use my camcorder a long time ago for these videos. And if you hear any noise in the background, my cat, Rescue, might be meowing and trying to get my attention. Because if he were in here, this video would, would go to hell real quick. I would have to do so many edits, and I'd have to just throw his little butt out. So he may start scratching on the door, because he doesn't get to be in the video. Anyways, we got um, Emolga, Star You. And Evelyn. And that's, yeah, so once again, you know, not guaranteed to get a rare in every pack or even a reverse haul, which I haven't got any reverse hauls yet, but still, you know, still cool to get that Ampros GX for the first pull. So, okay, I'm trying to struggle here to open up these packs. 
Plus, I like to kind of keep packs every now and then for sets, because, I don't know, just, they're cool to keep. All right, Togepi, Esper, you got a kitty cat, a scary kitty, well, he's a cute kitty, but he can be creepy, I guess, to some people. A Samson Oak card, I think, what, that's Professor Oak's cousin, I think? Or, because I know Professor Oak is Samuel Oak, I mean, I haven't watched the, I haven't watched the anime in years. I think X and Y was the last anime I watched. Then with the Sun and Moon, I just, I don't know. I didn't like the design change of Ash. Sorry, no, I'm getting a little off. So, I mean, it, it relates to the one. Just like I do my rest of I like to try to talk about whatever I'm, you know, pulling cards of, you know, because it's about the fandom, you, you know. Alright. So, let's see what we got next. Got a Fujiano. I like Kenzie Jamar art. Got a Lolan Golan. Which I think that, yeah, that's a rare, so. Eh, not bad. I mean, I don't think I pulled any other rares in any. In fact, they have fairy energy, which I've heard they're supposed to be getting rid of fairy energy in the uh, sword and shield packs. So, I don't know. You might not see fairy energies anymore. That's what I've heard. Alright, so let's see what we got in this pack. Squirtle! Got a Bronzor. And a Persian. Once again, gotta go with the cats today because I got my little kitty cat outside my door. Probably gonna start once again crying that he can't be in here with me. Alrighty. Think about halfway, cause half of 15 is, well, like 7.5. I mean, so I can't really say we're for the halfway point yet. Alright, so. I know some of these packs I'm kinda opening backwards, others I'm not, but whatever. Klefki. First reverse for the video, and they're on female, which. Been seeing a lot of these in Pokemon Go as of late. Haven't pulled a shiny of it yet. I mean, or I haven't found a shiny as I talk about Pokemon Go. I know that's doesn't relate too much to this. I mean, but it doesn't look at this Pokemon. And then, hey, some metal goggles. Yeah, metal. <laughs> it's all metal head. <laughs> Alrighty. So far, haven't pulled anything else too spectacular yet. Other than the Ampharos GX. It would be cool to pull one of the team up cards. Oh, Pidgey. I remember Pidgey used to be real common in Pokemon Go. Got Emolga again, which I guess the first duplicate I've pulled. And a Golduck, which is an uncommon. I may have to look through all these cards again to see. I don't think I've really missed any, any rare. I mean, the only other non hollow rare I've pulled so far was the Alola uh, Golem. And I'm gonna move off some of these packs because they're gonna start piling up here soon. Try to move off my mess here. Along with all these cards I've already pulled that I'll just pull them off to the size so here. Piling up too much, but anyways, hopefully, oh hey, there's a Lolan Geo dude going with a, a Lolan a Golem, a Paris, and a Poopitar. Okay, that pack was kind of, kind of poopy. <laughs> I mean, they all are going to be a little poopy, other than the fact that, you know, like I said, you're not going to always get a rare, or even a reverse haul in every pack. That's alright, you know, I might do more of these in the future, just for the hell of it. Alrighty, move this off. Let's see what I pulled this pack. Alrighty. Well, a Joltik. Okay, alright, we got a Tapu Coco. So that's cool. I can't remember what these are called, but I know there's something special, like a Prism. That's what they're called. I knew there was something special to them. So the Prism. Okay, that's not. Alright, so we're keeping on with the electric types, so. Alright, we got a Kakuna, so. Alright. Not bad. I mean, once again, I would like to pull one of the Team Up GX cards. But, you know, hey, one GX so far hasn't been bad, and, you know, so far all the rares I've pulled have been electric types, so if I was trying to build an electric type deck, I guess, you know, Vampiros and Alolan Golem and Tapu Coco. Once again, I've, I, yeah, I've been out of Pokemon so long, so I may not be pronouncing names right. Hey, good old Squirtle. Squirtle Squad in the house. A Tentacool. Inga. I think I went Emmett. I've never heard of them. I, once again, I have been watching Sun and Moon anime, so I may not know any of these characters. And once again, I don't think I pulled any more rares besides the ones that you see back here. And then, I'm, you know, I got my golem. Oh, I'll move the golem back here just for hell of it, along with the inner female. I mean, yes, they kind of count as pulls, but they're not the best pulls. But oh well, they're, they're so good. Down to the third pack. See if I can pull anything special in this one. Alright. And of course, no pack trick because. Not your standard booster pack. Okay, we got a Voltorb. Okay, reverse Niddle Queen. That's not bad. Go with that reverse. Uh, they aren't female. If I could pull a reverse Niddle Arena, that'd be pretty awesome. I mean, no. I'm, hey, that's not bad. I mean, a reverse, reverse rare is always good to pull. And then a Dark Energy. 
And we got two more to go. Hopefully we can have some last pack magic with one of these packs. Alrighty. Got a, a tentacle. Ooh, a Blastoise. Okay, I'll take it. Not a holographic, but that's awesome. Hey, and a Flappy. Goes along with the Ampharos GX, but not a reverse, so not really a big deal. But hey, cool. I mean, remember when Blastoise was always holographic back in the day? Other than maybe like Dark Blastoise, and they started making their non hauls But hey, you know, anytime you can pull Venusaur, Blastoise, or Charizard, it's always a good thing. Alright, last pack. Can I get a holographic? That would be so awesome if I could for this last pack, you know, but we'll see. Like I said, I would like to pull one of those GX holographics that are the team up ones, but okay. Bronzor, Dratini, and Pokemon Communication. Okay, well, that last pack ended in a dud. Alright, so obviously the pulls were, I would say, decent. I mean, for a dollar a pack, and they're not guaranteed rare, guaranteed first dollar every pack, I mean, I guess not so bad. I mean, I guess we go through the pulls again for the hollows, non hollows, and versus. So, Blastoise. First Hollow, Mid Arena, uh, Middle Queen. No Near Arena, but hey, Middle Arena Female Reverse, and the only non rare in this whole, you know, pulls here. And then Olam Golem, Tapu Coco for the Prism Pokemon. Once again, try to get a good look at that. And the only GX I pulled, an Ampharos GX. So, once again, not bad. Pretty decent pulls. I'm gonna try to buy more of these packs so I can kind of build up this collection. Maybe, you know. Pokemon card uh, pack opens, a, you know, a thing again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try at least, and maybe I'll start collecting the Sword Shield cards too to help it. So I kind of, I don't know, get caught in Pokemon again. I mean, I'm starting to get more into Pokemon like I used to be. But anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. As I'm looking through my, my uh, pile here, to make sure I didn't miss any rares. But if you, if I did, you guys can feel free to comment. But other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Of course, if you're a big fan of Pokemon and you want to see more Pokemon pack openings, make sure you hit that like button. And uh, my cat's meowing, so oh, I got to love it. Oh well, I'm gonna, I try to do this real one take, if it means I have to edit over and over until I open the packs. But yeah, um, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, comment down below what cards you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos. Um, oh, I forgot a, a reverse haul. I didn't notice it. Okay, so at least... Okay, so I pulled three reverse hollows. One that was rare. Okay, so I, did, I missed that. So, <laughs> that's gonna happen, unfortunately. Sometimes it's kinda hard to tell. I need to get better lighting. But, guys, once again, hope you enjoyed the video. That's it. I'm Illusional Cowboy. Rock on, and keep collecting.